when you talk about deviation, you're talking about how far off something is from a target value or an ideal value. And you can see I've written a formula for us here. You can take a look at this. It's the absolute value of x minus the target value, okay, what you're aiming for, and you want that to be less than or less than or equal to what's called the deviation, like how far off you know that you're allowing yourself to be. So if you're manufacturing something, maybe it's ball bearings or maybe it's you know some type of railing or something where you want to have a certain amount of accuracy where it could be a little bit smaller or maybe a little bit larger, but you want it to be within a certain range. You don't want to be off by more than that. This is how you would set up you know the absolute deviation inequality. So I'll show you another example. Let's say for example you have uh, x minus 2 is less than or equal to uh, 0.1. Okay, so when you think about this, the difference, okay, minus means the difference, right? But in geometry, that means the distance. So it's the distance between some number x and 2. Now, if we graph this on the number line, here's 2, right? And you can see that that difference or that distance has to be less than or equal to 0.1. So it could be over here at 2.1 or it could be over here at 1.9, but you want to be in between or less than or equal to, basically meaning less than or closer to, that distance is smaller than 0.1 units. So you can see this is, would be the result of this uh, absolute value inequality. So let's go into a story problem and I'll show you how to apply this. So you want to put up a basketball hoop such that the official height is 10 feet, okay? But you want to make sure that the absolute deviation is less than or equal to one inch. Write the absolute value inequality that models the situation. So what we would do, our target is 10 feet, but we want it to be you know, no more than off by one inch. Now one inch is one twelfth of a foot. So since I'm writing this in terms of feet, I'm gonna put one inch in terms of feet. This would be our absolute uh, deviation inequality. And then you can see we're writing it as a difference, but that absolute difference can't be more than one twelfth of a unit. Now if we solve this, uh, an easy way to solve these is just to set it up like a compound inequality. So I'll show you, you can say x minus 10 is greater than or equal to negative one twelfth and less than or equal to positive one twelfth. So I'm just going to add 10 to the middle, the left, and the right. And if we solve this, you can see we're getting 9 and 11 twelfths is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 10 and 1 twelfth. So as long